Hi guys, Candy here, welcome back to my channel. Just wanted to mix that up because I say the same thing every single time. Thank you for watching. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And then we can hang out and chat and you know, become makeup besties. So what you've actually come to this video for is not my self promotion. You come to this video to see my first impressions of the Too Faced Peppermint Mocha palette. Now if you drop down to the description bar below, you'll see that I've actually already done the eggnog palette. This is the second palette and I've still got the gingerbread palette to work through. So I've created this look with this palette. It's a little bit festive, it's pretty glittery. And I guess if you want to see what shades I used and how I eventually found this palette and how I feel about this palette and I'll also rate it for you at the end then just keep watching. So I've already primed my eyes as per usual and I'm going to take the palette using the color peppermint cream which is just a matte white. I'm going to pop this all over my lids just as a base. So it's definitely not as pigmented as the white shade in the Nikki Tutorials palette. And now taking a fluffy brush, I'm going to pop the shade Candy Cane, which is again just a really light matte pink, and I'm going to pop this in my crease. Okay, so that shade was so light that probably wasn't even worth putting on at all. So that shade is a slight disappointment. I wish that it had a wee bit more pigment to that shade, but that's okay. I'm actually going to take the shade Santa Baby, which is actually a blush, but I'm going to pop this on my crease as well, just to try and define that crease somehow. Uh, that's the only sort of matte slash satin shades in this little palette, and I'm trying to only use this palette. So I'm going to use the blush on my eyes as well. So that shade Santa Baby did work a little bit better in my crease, so that does make quite a nice eye colour as well. I'm going to create quite a graduated eye look, so using the shades Christmas Blend, Sprinkles and Peppermint Mocha, I'm just going to start by using each of those on each third. So I'm going to start by putting Christmas Blend on the first third of my eyelid. So there seems to be almost no pigmentation to the shadow whatsoever, either that or it's just really light, but it doesn't look that light in the pan. So I'm going to take my MAC Fix Plus and I'm going to wet the shadow to try and get a bit more pigmentation out of it. So far, it's not looking good for this palette. I have this really sad feeling that I'm going to be doing this for every single shadow. <laughs> and now next going in with the middle third with the shade Sprinkles. Again, I'm going to do this dry first and then... Worst case scenario, I'll have to wet it. It's there, but it's very subtle. It's definitely not like the intense pigmentation that I normally enjoy. Yep, let's wet that one as well. Ugh. That's much better. And then now taking the shade Peppermint Mocha. Again, I'm going to put this on dry on the last third. But I think I'm going to have to do it wet because this palette has not been doing so well. There is so much fallout, oh my goodness. Okay, so far I guess it's kind of okay. I'll just build it up a wee bit. And why not, there's one shade left. I'm gonna take the shade Coffee Chip and I'm gonna pop this in my last third as well. Just because it's the last one we may as well use. So there's been so much fallout that I'm now gonna have to try and just pop on just some more powder underneath my eye, try and just <laughs> mask all the glitter and all the fallout so i feel like that this look just wouldn't be complete without glitter i mean it is christmas so let's add on some glitter and while i'm waiting for my glitter to dry i'm just gonna pop on santa baby on my cheeks because i haven't even applied blush yet it's not too pigmented so it's really easy to build on and work up and also for highlighter because i haven't done that yet either i'm just going to take my anastasia beverly hills moon child palette and i'm going to use the shade pink heart it's just slightly pink and it'll just tie all this pinkness together so now i'm just going to apply liner and lashes okay so that's my eyes i also did something with my hair because my hair was ratchet i don't even know what i've done with it but i've done something with it and i also use the urban decay naked illuminated and this is an luminous i use this on my inner tear duct because it's super glittery so Perfect for the inner tear ducts. And now onto lips. Now I want to keep this pretty natural because I've got a lot of drama going on. So I'm going to use my absolute favourite. This is the Colourpop Ultimate Lip in Times Square. And I'm also going to be just a little bit adventurous, I think. I've got this new, new for me, uh, Too Faced Melted Chocolate uh, Metallic Lipstick. And I'm going to pop just a little bit of this over top of my Times Square. And this one is in the shade Metallic Chocolate Diamonds. So that's quite pretty. I feel like I probably should actually have just used it on its own because it's kind of mixed in with that matte lipstick and not gone good. I might take that off and uh, just put this on alone, I think. 
Okay, that's much better. So that's now just as is with nothing underneath it. Okay, so now for my final thoughts on this Too Faced Peppermint Mocha. And this was out of the Grand Hotel Christmas set. I'm not as impressed with this palette as I was with the Eggnog palette. I found a lot of... Actually, I could almost say... Ugh, I would almost want to say maybe even 90% of these shades. The colour payoff was so poor. Like, I'm really, really disappointed. I had to wet the shades to get any sort of, like, pigmentation out of it. I don't know, maybe that's the way that it's supposed to be. Maybe it's supposed to be sort of a lighter palette. I don't know. But definitely wasn't as good as the Eggnog palette. And I can't say that this is going to be a palette that I'm going to be reaching for very often. So if you were going to buy this set and, like, gift one away, then definitely gift this. <laughs> Give this crap right away. It is not my favorite. I'm gonna be totally honest. It's not my favorite and So far we're kind of 50 50. Um, there's another palette to go That is the gingerbread palette, which I think is gonna be my favorite. I hope what would I give this out of 10? Uh, let's start let's start rating things. I think we, I should start rating palettes out of 10 I think I would probably give this who I don't want to be too harsh. I think I think I'd give it a five and a half. So if you enjoyed this video and it helped you at all, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I upload three times a week. And of course, you'll be seeing my face in the next one.